Hey guys, um, it's Beach Alunga back again with another video and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be sharing my story and ultimately what I've been through up to this point in my life and how I've actually gotten myself to this point as far as football is actually concerned. So um, yeah, let's get into the video and I'll be explaining pretty much about myself, um, um, who I am and all that. So yeah, my story ultimately starts when I was about three months old, somewhere around there, um, according to my parents anyway. So I was told that I had talipase, I had this condition called talipase, and um, as a baby. So it would have actually distorted my feet as I was going to be growing older and older. Um, I'm glad that my parents found out that issue when I was really, really young. So. My mom was literally just changing my diaper and you know she came across the fact that okay my feet went as straight as they were supposed to be and whatnot so she obviously consulted my dad about it she told him and he ended up having to tell the rest of the family and everything so they ultimately all came together to discuss the situation and the way forward in order to actually help me get the surgery that i needed to um to get so i had to undergo surgery so um it was, it was a very very big issue you know surgery is not the cheapest thing to go through so like i said the, uh, my dad had to tell the rest of the family and everything so they came together they sat down and discussed how to like move forward with the situation and how i can actually be able to get the surgery done so yeah luckily enough for me i was able to get the surgery done and it was successful more so because um as a baby your, your bones are actually really delicate right so they're not they're quite fragile they're not really strong as someone who is older and whatnot so had i gotten this surgery when i was older i think the healing process would have definitely been longer and there's just so many other complications that might have um arose in the process so yeah i'm just super grateful that firstly the um the operation was was successful and i was given the opportunity to just be able to walk so guys, just imagine I was, I was in a position where I was not even going to be able to walk and walking was not necessarily going to be a possibility. Like a normal child anyway. I might have been able to walk, but you know, my legs would have literally been, you know, let's say this is the, um, your foot, right? The bottom part of your foot. And then this is the top part. I would have literally been walking on this side. So it would have been like this. I think my leg would have been something of, of that nature. So yeah, I mean, every day I wake up and I'm grateful I still have the scars to this day but definitely it's something that i look up to and be like okay look i would have been in this predicament and you know this situation and all that stuff but you know god gave me the ability to be able to walk and just live life like a normal person so to say you know so yeah like i said i'm, I'm super super grateful and you know back to the footballing aspect side of things i started playing soccer at a really really young age at two years old i got my first soccer ball so i was literally like kicking the ball around and whatnot that age already so you know it was it was a blessing definitely definitely blessed to be in that position to even like i said just to walk itself just to walk itself has literally been a blessing itself in itself so yeah you can imagine the kind of a uh, situation i would have been in. walking um you know just like a normal kid it starts from crawling then walking and then you know just being able to run and all that stuff so football has literally put me in that position where wow if i look back and i'm just like wow the possibility of walking itself was not going to be possible so there's so many football players who find themselves in all kinds of situations because they feel like they're not good enough maybe or they can't do this they can't do that you know this is something that i'm going to tell you right now to say you can actually get it done you can do it so don't look down on yourself and think oh i can't actually be able to you know be in a, in a positive position or this and this and this you can definitely get something done if you just set your mind to it and just focus on the grind and say look I can get this done and keep positive energy around you as well you need to have positive people around you because without positive energy it would be very difficult for things to manifest in the right direction you get what i'm saying so <clears throat> even if you have just two friends three friends that's more than enough trust me because there's so many other people who are just in your life to literally just ruin you 
bring you down and just you know they're not there to actually positively impact your life you get what i'm saying so that's something that you actually need to think about and it's super super important that you get yourself in that mindset to know that okay look i'm, I'm privileged enough to walk I'm, I'm privileged enough to even run to get myself in a fit position to you know ultimately play the game well um i can make good friends it's, this it's literally your own decision to make these points um positive uh, possible and taking things a day at a time every single day is unique on its own so it's entirely up to you on whether you want to make it the best you can possibly make it so yeah um of course you know there's things like school um balancing because you can't really just focus on football alone right there's some people who do it and they they succeed and all that stuff but you need something else to lean on so it's important that you you, um, you get educated and you're able to you know go to school and all that stuff so that in the future given maybe injury happens god forbid that happens um but given the case that happens you have something to lean on for you to actually run to and say look at least you know i've got this that i can actually lean on and just succeed in other ways in life but of course if you're really really passionate about football you have to just put yourself out there and say look this is what i'm passionate about this is what i love this is what i like doing and that's ultimately the goal here people who love football never give up on your dream and just continue pushing on a day-to-day basis of course like i said juggling school and, and soccer is not the easiest thing i've struggled in that i really really have but um i'm trying to make the most of the opportunity of um being able to go to school and also the opportunity of being able to still play football you get so it's it's, it's really difficult but in the long run as you go through you start to get the hang of it you start to you know adapt to certain situations and circumstances that you find yourself in and all these other things that come with life um generally so yeah um my like i said my story has been it's it's very unique not many people have gone through what i've been through and being able to play on the platform that i've uh, i've found myself on you know i found myself in very um um positive situations and i'm i'm lucky enough to be in those situations considering what i went through even just as a football player generally there's so many players who try as hard as they can and everything but they don't really get themselves to like go on soccer tours stuff like that but i've been privileged enough to actually be able to have those experiences getting to know so many different cultures getting to know so many different people and different aspects and levels in which they actually live and just how they go about stuff so yeah at the end of the day it's entirely up to you on how you want to make your life be and how you want to like push yourself to be a better person altogether right so yeah that's just ultimately it and you know i'm still pushing i'm definitely still grinding trying to put myself out there um where football is concerned and i'll continue pushing so i hope um you also continue to push for your dreams and my 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 story has inspired someone to say that you know this kid would have literally been someone who wasn't able to walk in the beginning but they've been able to make use of whatever talent god has given them in the best possible way they they, they, they could you get so that's that's the goal that's literally the goal to say i can come from here but i can end up somewhere really really high and it's not about where i come from or the background that i have or you know whatever history that has been going on in my life and all that stuff it's just about what you want to make the future be for yourself and that's you know the biggest goal that we all should achieve and um thrive for all together so yeah if you've reached this point of the video um i'm grateful for that and i really appreciate the fact that you've taken your time to actually watch this video and i will be definitely posting more um content based on you know football and what you're supposed to do in order for you to um succeed generally as, as a soccer player just based off the knowledge and understanding that i have of the game and the passion that i have for football um i'll definitely be trying to instill this kind of energy this kind of positivity in you guys so that you can actually achieve whatever goal you're looking to achieve so yeah thank you very much for coming this far in the video and of course don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video as well as i will be coming with more and more content um based on this beautiful game we call football yeah so see you guys in the next video and uh yeah stay safe